Hey everyone, hope all or hope you all are doing well. So look on the screen. Mrs. T dot. Two T dots on the screen. T dot a uh, phrase I coined that dusty over there. In this case, ladies and gentlemen, we have two that dustina over there. It's two of them. Hmm. The jokes write themselves. I want you to, to kind of save time here and the going back and forth. Um, I want you, most of probably already seen it. I want you to listen to what they did. The one that's going to return to the scene of the crime is going to be this lady right here. They stole from a store and then, oh my gosh, she left her, yeah, I got a problem. She kind of left her cell phone along with her driver's license and came back to get it. So here we go. Just listen to the story in case you haven't seen it. They say that they not only robbed the store that you see behind me, but they say that they returned to the scene of the crime to retrieve an item left behind. Can you believe it? People work as hard for their money, and I don't think that it's okay for you to just demand free things. At the premier nail supply store in Marietta, things are back to normal Wednesday night. But at the lunch hour, September 19th, the owner says two female suspects came into the store appearing to want to buy supplies. When it came time to pay, they instead ran out, carrying about $600 in merchandise. Inside the store are numerous surveillance cameras. The owner shared the footage exclusively with Fox 11. You can see the cashier and the owner dressed in blue chasing after the alleged robbers. But it went from bad to worse. One of the suspects returned to the store when she realized she left behind her phone, which included a driver's license. She aggressively demanded the phone back. The owner and clerk said if you return the items, we'll give you your phone back. No questions asked. Then it got really ugly. Instead, the alleged female robber gets violent, throwing mm. the owner to the ground and roughing up the cashier who is pregnant. Granted, robbing a nail supply store isn't exactly an Einstein move, but for getting your phone and coming back for it, even worse. The people we spoke to here today express concern for the owner. And when people just come in and uh, steal from them, I just don't think that it's right. Again. Look at the video of the woman assaulting the owner and lunging at the pregnant woman behind the counter. Police say the theft was less than the cost of the phone. These images show the injuries to the store owner who would not talk to us on camera, but confirm the chain of events. The suspects left in a black vehicle. Now, according to police, they say that they located them about a mile away with the stolen property right there in full view. They were taken into custody and arrested and booked on numerous charges. They used to have a show called A D C. Not ACDC, ADC. America's Dumbest Criminals, these ladies gonna win, uh, win, win a prize. Don't even know how to. Critical thinking skills doesn't even have common sense. Just think. Oh, I'm gonna steal from the store. Pretend like I want something, then steal and run out. And then, oh, I left my phone with my. Driver's license inside the, with my phone. I'm going to go back in there. Uh, hi, can, can I get my driver's license and my phone back? <laughs> After I just ripped you off. I tell you what, Fair Exchange, give us our product back. And we're going to give you your driver's license and the phone. No police, no questions. Too dumb to recognize, you know what? Maybe this isn't meant for you because you are, you're failing at it. No, no, I'm going to keep the merchandise that I stole from you, but I want you to give me back my phone and my driver's license. What a fool. What a fool. What a f Don't even have common sense. What a fool. 
I ain't making no deal. I'm going to take your stuff and I want my stuff back too. And then she pushed the man down, pushing the pregnant woman. That's why I didn't, I didn't uh, it seems to me like she was pushing a pregnant woman. That's why I didn't show the whole video. And then the, the owner's got bruises on her legs. So just think, Bon Quifa number two, along with her boo, her friend, didn't even get to utilize or enjoy the spoilage. Caught a mile away. It reminds me of Dusty Dan. This man had just bought a house. He got into divorce. And I think he had like, he had more than one car, but he had maybe like collector cars, you know, that kind of thing going on. What did he do? Order pizza. Just moved in, not even unpacked. Divorce, new house, new life is kind of further out. Not in the city. Order pizza. Got my pizza and he paid. Next thing you know, he goes somewhere and come back. His home is broken into. Home broken into. I believe they, uh, he had some, you know, his things are out. He just moved there. Next thing you know, one of his, um, I think they took one of the vehicles. Just got, what the hell? Just got there. Man looking around. Yep. That's interesting. How was it the driver's license? The pizza guy never came in. From what I understand, he got the pizza at the door, tipped him, ba boom, bye. So how is it that the pizza delivery guy's driver's license ends up inside the house and he never came in when the man was there? Jeepers might be the same one who broke in. Man calls the police. Yeah, I think we know who it is because here is his ID. Dusty Dan left his driver's license to leave my driver's like the pizza delivery man. Then the police were like, oh yeah, we know who it is. And not surprised. Why? That's his MO. So now you can even he can forget that little pizza job because you probably got a grand theft auto charge on you. At least car theft. I don't know if it's grand theft, but yeah, the vehicle's missing. He just got there. It, it's you. You left your driver's license there. Same thing here. The young people, they think they're so smart. So she's going to go back in there and deem. I mean, you really have the audacity to, I just can't r- rationalize it. The audacity to break into, to rob the store. And then I'm going to come back. Yeah, I need my phone and my driver's license. Yeah, you know, I left it here as, as I was robbing you. Someone need that back. No, I'm not going to make any deal with you. Entitlement. I need my phone and my driver's license. I'm trying to start my business off some stolen goods. Oh, you're not going to give it to me? Push the man. Shoving a pregnant woman. How did you see that turning out? Facing numerous charges, arrested a mile away. So, let's see, probably assault on both the parties. The man league had like a bruise or something. Theft. So, you just put yourself, you just knock yourself out if you weren't already. You just knock yourself out of the barely existing employment pool. Any chance, any chance for you to get a job. It's over. And your phone costs more than the items that you stole. Don't think, just do. Woe without a cause. Didn't even get to enjoy the, what you stole. All you got, to, so basically, all you got to do was just to ride in your vehicle, get on camera, make the news, maybe get you some hood points, some jail points, jailhouse points. So. From this, all you did was get yourself a felony, numerous charges. So look at it this way. This is what I call when people don't think, just do. They feel entitlement. A lot of this has to do with how they're raised. And sometimes people are raised the right way. I'm going to do what they see outside influences. I'm going to do what I want to do. When it's like that, parents, don't, don't bother yourself. Bail money and all that bull crap. Let them go. Let them go. 
It was like, Mom, you got you an uh, opportunity into an office if you don't have one or a library. Mm-hmm. Have a room with all your books. Have your own little personal library. Nice chairs. If you can afford your library chair, get one. They are expensive, but, you know, and it's, you know, I'm, I mean, I like a library chair. I don't like the price. I got mine on a hookup. Because I'm 5000 for it. I don't think so, boo. You can just get you two nice chairs. And have, man, have you a library, all your books sit around, an extra room? Man, shoot. You can go in there, have you a glass of wine and read and relax. Yeah. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. So these two ladies, along with so many dustinas and dust buckets, they got up that day. And I see this. This was the day that you got up and you and you decided to throw your life away. Uh-huh. This was the, that day that they got up. They just made, they made a decision. You decided to wake up and that was going to be the day you just throw your life away. You don't value yourself or you think you're so slick. And now look, probably got the little jumpsuit on. Oh, yeah. They probably got up that morning, had their breakfast, going to plan lunch. It looks like it might be a bologna sandwich. It might get a little time. I don't know. It depends on the location. Oh, it's in Los Angeles. Oh, wait a second. Los Angeles. Hold on. Isn't that where they have it, uh, Governor Newsom? They probably could have got away with it because don't forget, if you steal, if you take or steal in an amount, I think it's $950 and below, you might get a ticket. I told her come to court and that's pretty much it. So maybe they were banking on that. But see, she went back to get her phone. They're like, hey, give us a stuff back and then we'll give you your phone and your license back. She wasn't trying to hear it. No, I'm going to steal it. How irrational. Please don't breathe. Oh, Lord. I hope neither one of them. I hope they're not mothers. Please do not breathe. You're not too bright, ladies. So they probably thought they were going to go ahead and get away with it. It was $600. And in Los Angeles, I think it's like nine fifty or below. But it didn't work out because now you probably got you an assault charge. The shoving and the push, pushing. The man falling down the ground. Dustinas are just like the men. They don't think, they just do. They think it's, it's all about you. So stupid to say, okay, you know what? Made a mistake. Return to the, well, they probably won't give her license back. Well, guess what? She put herself in a situation. And then they want to come to a black person after they can't get hired anyplace else. Hire me for your business. What the hell for? You know this group has self-hatred and a lot of jealousy. Not, not even. Don't be the chair of the case. So this here, this is a day that they got up, in my opinion, and they decided to, that their lives were so worthless they were going to throw their lives away. Then think about the pros and cons. Gee, what could happen? So now, ladies, you got a reality. And this is so sad. The young ones, they think they're so slick, so slick. Then they realize, oh, I want a chance to do it over. You don't get a do-over. unbelievable anyway let me know what you all think it's it's really sad and it's embarrassing young people out of control maybe that's why no one's willing to invest and all people commit crimes i know that clearly can see but this right here is why a lot of small businesses even for minorities in the community they can't survive you can't keep going through this over and over again It'll be a waste. Uh, it'll be a waste of money. Grand opening, grand closing. So if the big box stores like Target and they're leaving, Starbucks, all of it, what the heck do you think of a mom and pop operation? You put your money out there, and then, well, it's gonna be a write down. Let me go back and try to get my job back, or go find a new job. This is why. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.